welcome to the video people and today we're going to be talking about Current, the app that tells you you can earn money just by listening to music. But is that the case? Well, we'll soon find out. That's the point of the video. If you haven't seen on my channel, I tend to try and review certain apps that you can get paid for doing things online. It's kind of the sort of thing that I do, or one of them. And if you like that sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe because you're probably not going to want to at the end. And in doing so, I tend to come across different apps that promise that they will pay you for doing menial things, such as walking, listening to music, filling in surveys, all of that sort of thing. And that's precisely how I found Current. I believe it's a part of Mode, which is another app that gets you to do different tasks. And this follows the very, very similar sort of trend as the Smiles app, the one that you can get paid for walking, uh, where they have different deals within that. And if you do certain things, they obviously get a kickback from that and they pay you the bit in the middle for doing it. On their website, they say that you should be able to earn $600 a year, which yes, isn't exactly life-changing money, just by listening to music. So I thought, I like listening to music. I wanna see if that claim is remotely accurate. So of course I downloaded the app. And what did I find? Well, at first it's a similar sort of setup. They do try and get you to fill in certain things and one of the reasons why I think they do have so many ratings on the App Store is that if you leave them a favorable review, you get points for it, which is kind of a bit sketch, not gonna lie. But that aside, all the different things it gets you to do, it can get you to do certain things, obviously sharing with friends, I'll have a link. You'd be questionable whether you use it though, once I go into the details. You can earn points from simply completing the onboarding, but there are other things that gets you to answer surveys, which is purely through a third party. They obviously get the money back and then give you a kickback, which is probably less value than what they get paid in the first place. So if you just went to these survey sites, you'll probably actually earn more, but you know. It does say you can earn up to 25,000 points, which I'll get into what the points actually convert to in a minute, for completing tasks and offers. You also can get up to 15 for watching a video, which again, I'd imagine it's just Google AdWords. They probably earn about a quid for this and pay you back pennies for doing so. But every time I've actually tried to complete one of these tasks or watch one of the videos, there are none available, so they don't actually work. It's a bit disappointing. Which is obviously great. That's called sarcasm. But the main point here is how much money can you earn listening to music? So first I'm gonna go into what the rewards are and how many points you need them because that is crucial to understand how much money you can make just by listening to music and what that translates to. So you can redeem or withdraw the points for as little as $1. So if you have $1 in your balance, you can withdraw that out when you should think, well, that's great because if I earn a dollar, I can take it straight out and the, it doesn't mean that I need to. A lot of apps make you have a threshold of about 80, 90, 100 dollars, which means you have to wait until you get to that point to cash out, but this starts with a dollar, but there's probably a good reason for this. Just to be able to earn one dollar PayPal gift card, it's 9,650 points. And to get the tenor, you think 10 is probably the most useful one you're gonna see out of this, is 27,250 points. You might think, well, that really doesn't help me, Ross, because how much do I earn from listening to a song? How much do I earn when I listen to music? And that's probably where this app really does fall down. So it doesn't sound promising to me. So I currently have 149,000 points. No, that's wrong. It looks like I have 149,000. What I actually have is 149.79. It's it's got three bits after the decimal and a comma in between, so it genuinely looks like I have 149,000, but I really do not. It's confusing. So I have 149 points, and obviously if I need 9,650 to get a dollar, that's gonna take me a long, long time. But how much do I get for every song? Well, first, for the survey, because I thought I'll see what I can get for those as well. I got nine, and then I got a hundred. I see you think, well, okay, with those it's fairly good. And answering a few questions, I got one and two and things like that. So I got some for that, but purely listening to music, how much did I get? That's the that's the crux of the matter here. That's why we're here, people. 
it's really, really pathetic. So every song is roughly, so it ranges. And I tried to see, I tried to listen to different stations to see if different genres paid out differently and it didn't seem like they did. It just varied wildly in what they would pay out. So it's anywhere between 0.007 points. Yeah, you, yeah, you, let, you heard that correctly. 0.007 points for a song. And another one here, 0.036. 0.007 again, 0.003, 0.002, that's, that's a really low one, 0.04. So it ranges between 0.04 points and 0.002. So I listened for a long old time today and I kept listening and it kept making me watch videos to make sure I was still there, which obviously they're gonna earn money from. And so it was very hard to just leave it running. And even if you do, which I did, and kept watching the videos to make sure, because obviously I wanted to provide content for you to see how much you can realistically earn. And I worked out, I did some maths. How long would it take based on an average of 0.03 points per, which we've seen is probably at the high point. How long would it take you without doing any of the surveys, purely listening to music to earn that $10 card? It's a long, long fucking time. In fact, if you listened to music through the current app for 24 hours a day, bearing in mind you're not getting capped and stopped by videos, assuming that you could get through 24 hours a day based on a high end of what they were paying out, for a whole year, you would earn 4,471 points, which is half the amount you need for a dollar. That is correct. Yep. Pathetic. According to my calculations would mean you'd need 4.3 years to earn $10. So I don't know how they're claiming that you can earn $600 a year, which again is pretty low. And that's assuming that you listen to three to five hours a day. I'm based in France, and I don't know if the payment is different there, but based on my experience, and that is listening over a long amount of time, it's not what they're telling you. It's pretty fucking shit. So before downloading this app, and there will be a link in the description, and I do earn about six points for that, which I really couldn't give a shit about, so don't, don't use it. But before you consider even embarking on this shitty journey of listening to music for these arbitrary shit points that actually equate to nothing, you better watch this video because it's really shit. And I'm always trying to be as honest as physically possible when it comes to these. I don't want people to do things that aren't worth their time. And if you look at all the videos I've done on Brave Rewards, Bing Rewards, Sweatcoin, Smiles, all of those different sorts of ways to make money, even the user testing stuff, there are better ways to make money with your time. And even though, yeah, sure, you're listening to music, I like listening to music, is it really worth going through the effort just for these stupidly arbitrary points that don't actually equate to anywhere near what they promise you online? No, the answer is no, it really is not. And the fact that some of the things that they're trying to get you to do are clearly, clearly paying them way more money than they're passing on to you, and half the time they don't even work, is, is just absolutely shocking. Of course, I've seen several and watched several different videos on the current app to see what other people thought of it, and I couldn't see people bashing it in the same way that I was. There were fairly positive reviews and I don't really see why. Maybe it's because they're hoping that they can get more points back for it. I really don't understand. But obviously, like I said, I always try and provide the real, real life situation. So if you're gonna do this, please consider the reality of the situation before and don't expect to actually make some real sort of money from it because you really won't and you will waste your time dramatically. I didn't want this to actually be shit. I, when I went into this, I thought, you know, it would be quite good to do something I love, listening to music, and earn something back for it. But the reality just isn't there. Like, the app doesn't work very well. The idea is there, but the execution just is, is pretty poor. And like I said, I don't know if it's geographically 
limiting where I am or if that has an impact on it. And if anyone from the company wants to explain this to me, sure, go for it. But at the same time, right now, I would never recommend you do this. I think it's absolutely shocking. Of course, if you've got a completely different experience, then let me know. I'd love to understand how profitable it is for you to listen to music and earn these arbitrary, very unvaluable points. You can always hit me up in the comments. Let me know I'm wrong. I love that more than anything. And if I am wrong on this, I will eat humble pie. But at the same time, I really don't think I am. Like I said at the beginning, if you like this sort of video or me looking into these different sorts of things, then consider